What's up guys? I'm gonna make a little little quick video here today. I want to show you guys how the clutch chatter sounds. Um, actually, I have the swirl valve deleted, and with that swirl valve gone, it does make more noise. Um, it was making noise on the stock clutch. I believe it's a throttle bearing. I'm not sure exactly, but whenever the clutch is out, like your foot's not on the pedal, it does make some noise. But I'll show you guys what it sounds like with my foot on the clutch pedal and the, with my foot off. I'm do a little cold start here. Um, I'm about to pull my other wheels out of the house. Pull the car forward here, change my wheels out, then I'm gonna run to Walmart, grab some oil, come back, check my spark plug gap, do an oil change, and uh, change out filters. I got two filters for my VWR intake. Um, I'm super nervous uh, for this weekend's autocross. I, uh, it's just a, the opening season event. I'll post a course map here. It's gonna be freaking sweet. I'm just, I'm, I'm so nervous and I'm excited. I've had so many parts that I've installed and I didn't make it to the last autocross event in Roswell because I just put my clutch in. But since then I've done, since my last event, I've done the, the Tyrol Sport uh, dead set kit, the, whatchamacallit, 034 rear subframe inserts and 034 strut mount um, bushings. I've done the super pan, I've done the solid shifter bracket, solid shifter bushings, a clutch, the front strut bar, um, I got a, a, a realignment and my, my camber's nice and even. I got have a, I went from like 1.1 1 .1 degree of camber to like 2.5 degrees of camber in the back. Uh, my front camber is now even, it was 1.7, 2.5, now it's like 2 degrees across the front. What else? I'm sure I'm missing a few things. Most of it was shifter and some of the suspension stuff obviously, but um, all of that has not been on a track yet, so this weekend is huge because it's the opening season plus dialing in all these parts. And the last time I did autocross was the first time on the BCs, and I only had them at like 10 clicks plus in the front and fi plus 15 in the rear. Now I'm running around daily at 22, I believe, so I'm gonna bump them up to 25 while we're on the course and then go from there. But um, yeah, just. A lot of stuff. My brain's just going crazy. I've been looking this map over and over and over. I um, really want to place at least top three this year. I placed fifth last year for Amarillo and second overall for Roswell. So the SCCA stuff, it's a national group. I want to place at least top three. I know I can do it. It's just getting in there and doing it. Um, and I got the turbo and the fuel system coming soon. After that, we're going to start working on brakes. I'm going to do the TTS uh, four-pot upgrades or direct bolt-on. I don't know how long it's going to be until I can buy them, but they're like 350 a, a, per caliper, and then I need new, obviously, new pads. I'm going to need stainless steel lines. I'm going to need to do dot five fluid and probably different size rotors, I believe. So there's a lot coming. Stay tuned for all that, but... I'm just nervous, nervous, excited. Uh, let me show you guys this noise. Noise. Testing. System ready. I can't hear much because the clutch is down and the car is loud, but give it a second. I'll, once the cold starts over, I'll lift my foot. And just a little bit on the clutch itself. Um, if you haven't seen the clutch install video, I'll link it down at the end of this video. Um, it was a pain in the ass, but the clutch feel like right off the bat, it was super stiff. It was uh, probably exactly what I was expecting. Maybe a little bit stiffer, but around, I'd say like 150, 200 miles into breaking in the clutch, it started to lighten up a lot. And by lot, I mean like a freak ton. Um, I'm trying to give, watch my curse words. Uh, <laughs> it, uh, it lightened up a lot, a lot, a lot. And now I am at, let me see, 411 out of 500 break-in miles. And it's lightened up quite a bit since that 150-ish. It's still, I'd say, like 30% stiffer than stock. And don't take stiff as like a bad word. It's stiffer, but it's good. It's very good. It is a very good feeling clutch. It is just perfect, in my opinion. Uh, I don't think it's going to lighten up any more from here. It might. Hallelujah if it does. Whatever. 
as long as it stays still stiffer than stock but not like crazy when it first got installed um i'll be happy and right now i'm very happy so let me take my foot off the pedal here you guys can hear the noise I don't know how well the camera really picks it up, but it's not loud at all. Like sitting here at idle, you can hear it just a little bit, but it's not bad at all. And you can uh, mitigate that by changing out trans fluid to something a little more thick, because really it's not even a clutch noise. The, the clutch chatter isn't clutch chatter, it's gear chatter from the gearbox, from the single mass flywheel. But, um, and then getting a fluid amp or crank pulley, um, I'm probably, Never gonna do that. We'll talk about that another time. I do have one sitting in the in the garage, but bad bad for me. Um, I'm doing those two things should mitigate the noise coming from the single mass or from the gearbox, however you want to look at it. But um, I don't mind the sound at all. I kind of like it, honestly. I feel a little bit more connected with the car with all the little little noises she makes. So yeah, that's just that's just my opinion. I'm gonna pull the car out, swap out wheels, and. Uh, Maybe just swap out my filter while I'm in here and then run in the store, get oil, blah, blah, blah. I'm actually entertaining the idea of selling my Pretorias since the tires are about beat on all of them. After this trip to, uh, to Houston, uh, these wheels, I want to sell them. Um, they're, they're pretty beat up, to be honest. Like every wheel has quite the amount of damage from autocross. I used to daily and race these wheels. So they're pretty up and in potholes from going to different cities. Denver, or not Denver, Dallas really. Up running my wheels pretty bad. They're not bent though. They just have a lot of scuff. They could be sanded down, repainted. Um, they're like 19 by eights. It's just a regular Volkswagen offset, but definitely Kind of want to sell them and get another set of uh, hypergrams. That way, I just have the same wheels. I, I really like having 17s with meaty tires. The, the car runs a lot smoother on the street um, compared to these real thin tires. So, if you guys are looking for a set of wheels for semi decently cheap, hit me up. So right here, we got the. Uh, this is the stuff you put on your foam filter. To make it sticky, this is what traps all the dirt and dust and nastiness going in to the intake. This is my, my fresh boy. I have two of them, so I always keep one clean, ready to get the shit applied to it so I can just swap out um, filters whenever I need to. Now, when I pull the one out of the car, I'll clean that today. It's just hot water and soap. Uh, I do that two times in the sink and kind of like massage all the junk out of it. And then I shake all the water out of it and I let it sit outside for like a day on the porch. And then I'll set it in this box in the closet until I need to use it again. But uh, I don't spray this until I'm ready to because this, this stuff is so sticky. It's ridiculous. But uh, it's time. Well, it's starting to leak out of the top. It's not good. I kind of put down the camera for a minute, but... Uh, I got the oil draining right now. I just pulled the uh, cool packs out. About to pull the plugs, see how they look. Regap them down to like 0 0.24, 0 0.25, or 0 0.024, 0.025, somewhere in there. Then I'll toss them back in, torque them down, throw that stuff back in, throw new oil in real quick, and uh, swap out filters. I just wanted to pop the camera up, show you guys how the spark plugs look. They're brisk ER12s. They've only been in for like 3,000 miles, but it's been a long 3,000 miles since it haven't been really been traveling much over the winter um, too drastically not like we do in the summer at least when when the race season's in so uh, we'll pull these out see how they look I'm sure they move quite a bit last time at 5,000 miles they went up from 0 0.024 to like 0 0.030 which is a lot so I want to check the gap now before um, autocross this weekend and then going down to Houston where here I live at 4,200 foot altitude where majority of my autocross events is like somewhere between 31 and 3400 foot altitude and in Houston it'll be like 800 feet at some places it's like 
way less than that. It's like 200 feet. So I want to make sure, uh, you know, the plugs are firing properly and the oil's good and, and all that shit, so. They look pretty decent. They look like they went up ever so slightly in gap. I'm going to check them. If they're only a couple, couple off, I won't even uh, hammer them down none. I'll save that until they actually move quite a bit, but they're not looking bad. There hasn't been much racing on these in general, so I can't complain. Very nice. So these two were at 0 0.25. These were at 0 0.27. So I hammered these two down back to 0 0.25. They all match up. We'll check it again in like another, uh, we'll probably check it again when we get down to Houston or right after Houston heading home. So a couple thousand miles. Oil has changed. Now we're going to place filters real quick and uh, see how dirty this one is. In all honesty, it really doesn't look that bad. Um, on camera, you can't really see the brown. Maybe you kind of can. But uh, I'm going to switch it out anyway. Preemptive, get everything done. I don't have to worry about nothing. What I do need to worry about, though, is, which I need to remember when I go inside here when I'm done, I need to order new axle bolts for both sides, dog bone bolts, and uh, drive shaft bolts or it meets the transmission. I didn't replace any of those when I went and did the clutch the other week and that was the second time we're using them because I took those off when I did springs the first time or something. Our downpipe for the drive shaft and then springs for the axles. Uh, and they're supposed to be one time use so I want to get those replaced. It's not going to be before TX2K or anything but I, I'm sure it's going to be fine. I have no real worries, but I do want to replace those. So I need to put in an order with ShopDap to get those. If you don't know, ShopDap has like literally everything. Like the whole parts book for like pretty much every Volkswagen in the US and Audi. Um, they have everything. They have literally everything. So I go there for everything. They have a great, whatchamacallit, like plan. Like every 10 bucks spent, I think you get a point. Or every 100 bucks spent, you get a point or something like that. And you can use those points towards uh, money off. I use, use it on my intercooler. I got quite a bit of money off of my intercooler. Uh, and if you're in the military, active duty veteran, shoot them an email and I'll give you some free points. Ask me how I know. But uh, yeah. Looking so good. Here's a side by side comparison. Uh, this is the clean one, this is the dirty one. Know how well you guys can tell on camera. From out here, it's kind of bright. I can't really tell in the screen but in person this one is way more brown where I live is a f dust bowl it's nasty so yep well guys that's about all I got for today I'm about to go in eat lunch do some research get those bolts ordered um, now I gotta go to work here in like 45 minutes I'm on second shift now but it's Friday so we should be off pretty early Go help a buddy install a catch can later today and this and that. He's going autocross this weekend as well. But uh, you guys will be seeing this on Saturday. Tomorrow is when I'll be doing autocross when you guys are watching this. Um, so if you want to go follow my Instagram, see how, how the day is going, BR32YCE, come follow me there. Um, it's going to be a very, very nervous day. I'll have the video up from Sunday on Monday. It's going to be like a vlog style. Um, video I'll be talking to the camera a whole bunch talking to you guys about the suspension and, and how everything's panning out and how I feel about certain things but I can already tell you with with these other wheels on and this front bar and everything like it just feels so f good like I can't take a turn hard enough like everything just feels so planted and so good so I'm gonna turn the stiffening up a little bit just just for the of it and uh, stiffening I say stiffening dampening up and uh, just send it. Sunday is going to be a whole lot of, whole lot of sending it. I got bumped in class and I'm in street modified. Um, last year I was in B Street because of the coilovers. And then when the turbo and fuel system comes, that would have been put me in street modified anyway. So, whatever. But stay tuned for that. Super stoked. Um, still got that that rear brace. We're waiting on that. But that will be a while. TX2K this week too. So a lot of shit coming up super excited and I'm really hungry so I'm gonna go inside and eat and I'll talk to you guys um, Monday I guess whatever catch you on the flip-flop <laughs>